Good day folks. In today's video, we're going to talk about whether the iPad Mini 5 is a capable device for editing 4K drone footage and perhaps even 4K GoPro footage. And to cut right to the chase, yes it is, it's very capable. So let's just jump right in and take a closer look. Now when it comes to making videos for my YouTube channel, there's many videos that I want to make, but I also make videos on questions that get asked on my channel. And mobile editing is probably one of the most common questions I get. I'm a 100% mobile editor myself. I film all my videos for YouTube on an iPhone. All the videos then get either edited on that iPhone or on an iPad Pro. There's a lot of people who are just getting into mobile editing and they're wondering if the iPad Mini 5 is just as capable for editing 4K drone footage and 4K GoPro footage. After all, it's a nice small portable form factor. The price is right it's quite a bit cheaper than purchasing something like an iPad Pro. On top of that the iPad mini also doubles as a great monitor for flying drones. So when you add all that up together it makes for a nice simple workflow. You can fly your drone, do your filming, transfer all the footage over and then edit right on the same device. So let's go ahead here and we'll take a look at some of the editing capabilities. I'm a huge fan of Apple products. I think the capabilities of them are just incredible compared to how they were even a few years ago. You don't have to create any kind of shadow files or proxy files in order to be able to edit them. When you scrub through videos it's nice and smooth. So let's take a look at a few apps here that you might want to consider for editing and we'll see how they perform. First of all, if we just go right into the photo viewer, we'll bring up a video here. Here's a GoPro video shot in 4K60. It's a five minute video and as you can see, there's no problem with playback. We can open it up and we can scrub through and it's nice and smooth. You can see there that we can scrub through almost frame by frame. And uh, that's where sometimes laptops and even powerful computers that you spend a lot of money on in the store have trouble with. So we're gonna take a look at some of the apps that you might wanna use when editing. There are free apps you can download from the app store for editing. But personally, if you're gonna use a free app, I would stick with iMovie. It's kind of limited in what it can do, but it's very stable and it works quite Quite well. If you want something a little bit more robust, I definitely recommend LumaFusion. It's a one-time fee of $30, which is nice. You don't have to pay a monthly fee to continue to edit. The folks at LumaFusion add updates on a regular basis, so they're always adding new features. Now, if you are serious about editing on an iPad, I definitely recommend picking up the Apple Pencil. This here is just the original Apple Pencil because that's what works with the iPad Mini. If you're going to be using the iPad Pro 3rd or 4th gen, you'll be using the Apple Pencil too. I like using the Apple Pencil. I find it uh, gives you a little bit more precision when doing certain tasks tasks gives you that fine control like using a mouse. The other thing I recommend picking up is some kind of card reader. This one here is the Apple card reader but there are some generic ones on Amazon that you can get that are a little bit cheaper and they work just as well. So let's take a quick look at iMovie here. Like I said it's free. It's included with the iPad mini when you purchase it. I do believe you will have to go and download it but uh, there's no cost to it. So let's go and we'll create a project. We'll create a movie. And uh, let's select a few files to add to our movie. You can see here it's added all our footage to our timeline. Did it nice and quickly, almost instantly. Now what I really like about editing on Apple products, iOS devices, is, and I don't know how Apple has done it, but uh, we can get into this 4K file. And you can see here, I can scrub through almost frame by frame. I can go quickly, I can go slowly, but it is able to keep up. That's not the case if you've done any kind of editing on a desktop or laptop. I have a laptop that I purchased about a year and a half ago, and uh, it was double the price of what I paid for my current iPad Pro. And the problem with it is when I'm trying to scrub through footage to find a spot that I want to make a cut, it gets really jerky and it kind of hesitates, and uh, it's really hard to be very precise. But with Apple products, you can just scroll through your 4K footage like butter. And that's without making any kind of proxy files or shadow files. I'm not quite sure how Apple has managed to pull that off, but, uh, you know, it handles 4K footage just, just beautifully. And again, that's pretty impressive for a $400 product. So yeah, we can scroll through until we find a place we want to make a cut. We'll split it. And we'll split it there too. We'll get rid of that part. And uh, we'll make another cut maybe there we'll go to our next clip here and uh, you can see the train now this is only 2.7k footage this was shot on the Mavic Mini but again you can see it handles it just fine and uh, maybe we'll just take that clip there we'll split it and there we go we got a few clips now one of the limitations of using iMovie is it doesn't give you a lot of tools like for editing if you want to do any kind of color correcting it does have a few filters but they're not really that useful in my opinion but uh, anyway so now when we're done we can uh, hit the done button we can now export it 
we'll save the video and it gives us the option of what resolution we want to export it as we can hit 4k and uh, it's going to export it to our camera roll and exporting 4k footage is super quick it almost does it in real time so yeah that's iMovie and uh, let's go over to LumaFusion now this is what I edit in most of the time for my YouTube channel and uh, we can go over to our photos we, you know we can drag them down and again LumaFusion scrubs through nice and smoothly you can see here we can go almost frame by frame again and the nice thing about LumaFusion is we can drag several layers of 4k video let's push it even more let's put a fourth layer so we got now four layers of 4k video you know if you're going to be doing any kind of complicated editing a lot of b-roll different things like that as you can see here I'm still able to scroll through now it's getting a little bit choppier but uh, you know that's not bad at all but being able to scroll through four tracks of 4k footage on a $400 device it's just kind of mind-blowing to me you can go through make all your cuts add what you need to add you can add some titling you can go through add an audio track and then export and to export here is pretty simple go to movie photos and uh, again we'll leave it in 4k 100 megabits and uh, yeah and you can see here it's rendering a two minute video and uh, you know it's almost rendering it in real time you can see there the timestamp you know you can see the seconds going up so yeah, if you're rendering a 10 minute video, it's going to take you about 10 minutes. If you're rendering a 20 minute video, it might take you 20 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. But all in all, it's pretty fast. So yeah, folks, as you can see, the iPad mini is fully capable of editing 4K footage. And like I mentioned, it's really appealing for the price. If you want to get into mobile editing, you're not going to have to spend a ton of money. Uh, the iPad Pros can be quite costly especially if you get up into the ones with larger memory. The iPad mini is affordable for most people and it's fully capable of editing all the footage that you need. Well, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. I'd also like to mention I now have a Patreon account, so if you want to support me, you can head over to Patreon and, and search for Air Photography. I'll also include a link to it down in the description of this video. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next one.